All right. Now I want to talk about one last thing this episode. And there's some viral discourse about surrogacy, adoption, gay parenting, all this good, fun, lighthearted stuff. And it started with a viral video that's been resurfacing on Twitter because CBS News has posted it. It's now have been viewed 31.5 million times, at least impressions on Twitter. The caption is, this is the moment Ben and his husband, Aaron, met their daughter, Charlotte, for the first time. Let's roll this clip. Aw, that's exciting. Are you ready to meet your parents? Are you? <gasps> <laughs> initial reaction to this was just like okay it's a little cringe um but you know happy for them whatever keep scrolling yeah i mean i th i thought it was a nice video yeah. i like watching it because i i'm gonna have kids and i'm going to be in the same position and i know that angers people so i thought it was a nice video and it's clear that they're going to love that baby uh so i think that you know the baby going into a good home there should be some positivity surrounding but that. there so was not just uh, as a matter of fact the comment section is the most negative thing i have seen in a long time and it says so here's a tweet from lauren chen where is the mother this just makes me sad knowing there is a woman off screen who has just given given birth and is without her newborn um Billboard Chris said, this is an abomination, and no, that's not anti-gay. This is anti-nature, anti-mother, and anti-baby. It is nothing but selfishness on the part of the men. Intentionally setting up a child for life without a mother should be illegal. Liz Wheeler says, this is not cute. This is heartbreaking. The poor baby was ripped from her mother and given to strangers. Um, a, a woman named Marina Medvin says this is an act of cruelty to the baby. Uh, shame on you. Another person said a child is not to be traded. A child is not to be taken from a mother at birth and sold to men who act like they just got a fancy new car. Uh, other people bizarrely accuse this couple of human trafficking because they all, a lot of them assumed this was a surrogacy. A uh, little bit of fact checking would have actually shown you that it was several years old and it was an adoption. The birth mother actually picked them to be the parents of their the, the baby. Um, but I was just depressed by all this negativity and this hatred and it really just seemed like god these people just ha really must have disdain for gay people and gay families well yeah and can you reread that tweet from billboard chris again because there's something i want to point out in it but i yeah he I said this is an again. abomination and no that's not anti-gay this is anti-nature anti-mother and anti-baby it is nothing but selfishness on the part of the men intentionally setting up a child for life without a mother should be illegal right so es essentially what they're arguing and it's, it's selective outrage because if it should be illegal to intentionally give a child away from its mother at birth, then you would argue that all adoption would be illegal because there are, the intention behind sex is to procreate. Whether or not you want the baby or if it's not there, you're going to have a baby if, you, if it's male to female sex, if you know, by chance. So this whole argument that it should be illegal, you would think pro-life commentators would be arguing for kid for adoption for this because if we're going to say abortion is murder and we're going to sit here and say that all babies should be carried to term and adoption is fine just give it up for adoption when we make abortion illegal then why are we demonizing this in this circumstance and it's clear that it's because the couple is gay it has nothing to do with actual adoption no it doesn't and i think it's just 
it's it's the opposite of selfishness. They're opening their home and their pocketbook to take care of somebody and give their love and their attention to a child. And I think it's a, a good thing. I think it's a selfless thing. If you're selfish, trust me, I know a lot of selfish gays and they go on cruises and they uh, live the life and they couldn't they wouldn't dream of adopting a child from some um, mother who doesn't want their child like it's just not what they do. And I'm, pr I'm sure that child's going to have every opportunity. And, you know, who knows? I don't know anything about these men. They could be bad parents. They could be good parents. Mm -hmm. But the idea that just because they're a gay couple, they're them adopting a child is bad. And also, it's just like so depressing to me how many people are railing about surrogacy in the comments when it's literally not a surrogacy. So they're just either don't care. They're just lying. They just the culture war outrage isn't worth two seconds of fact checking.